What is one thing you most enjoy about coaching women's basketball? Women's basketball is a great sport, uh, and it's a true form of the game of basketball. Uh, played below the rim, emphasis on fundamentals uh, and, and uh, athleticism. I just really enjoy coaching our young women because there's there's great discipline involved and there's great inspiration involved in, for them to, to work extremely hard to be the very best that they can. So I love the sport. I spent 12, it's my 12th year in the sport. And, uh, loved every year more than the last. Uh, if you weren't coaching women's basketball, what do you think you'd be doing? If I weren't coaching women's basketball, what would I be doing? I don't know. Maybe, uh, uh, and I don't know, Olivia. That is an interesting question. Maybe uh, I would love. I'm, I'm in love with the game of golf. Uh, I would probably dedicate a lot of time to, to uh, being a golfer, uh, although a bad one. Uh, try to do that, or uh, maybe get in. Maybe get in the uh, transportation business. That's a family business. But I, I can't imagine myself not not being on the sideline with the women's basketball. What is your favorite memory of coaching in the OVC? Favorite memory? Um, well, after one year completed as a head coach in the OVC, uh, probably my favorite memory as, as a head coach would have been last year at our senior night uh, where we were able to retire the jerseys of China Bozeman and uh, Kenneth Reed at the same time and to a near sold out crowd in Johnson Arena. Uh, that was as emotional a night in college athletics that I've ever been a part of, to see those two fine young athletes recognized and given the highest honor that our school can give them outside the Hall of Fame. So uh, that was probably the, as special a moment as I've ever been involved with uh, in, in college athletics. and. Uh, fortunate enough, it was last year. It's my first year as a head coach in the OVC. What is your favorite place to eat on the road? Martha's in, in Murray. Absolutely. Got to go to Martha's when you're in Murray State. Uh, I don't skip a lot of meals, so uh, I've got a top ten list, but Martha's is absolutely at the top in Murray. Outside of basketball, huge Huge sports fan, love to play golf, love uh, love to go to any sporting event that I can. Uh, very involved, uh, interested in Tennessee walking horses, grew up in that industry. Uh, so go to as many horse shows and walking horse shows as I can get to. Uh, and then my wife and I love to, love to travel and just see and take in new things and new sights. One thing that would be surprised about Tom Hodges, uh, probably that I'm very conservative. Um, it doesn't appear that way sometimes and, and through the clothing, uh, but I'm ultra conservative uh, to the point that I've had to step outside my comfort zone uh, and had a great deal of fun doing it, but uh, very, very conservative uh, just in everyday general walks of life. Um, and then, yeah, that, I'd say that's probably maybe the biggest misconception about this radical, uh, liberal-looking looking outfit. What are the top songs in your playlist? <laughs> top songs on the iPod. Um, shucks. It'd be nobody that you would know. I'm, I'm a huge Southern Gospel music fan, so... I've got a lot of uh, like four-part harmony quartet <laughs> jamming right now. That's what that's our punishment for our kids whenever whenever they don't play. They've got to listen to my iPod. Uh, but no, that's uh, that's what's on the that's what's on the playlist right now. That that might be a great something they didn't know about me is uh, I, I was in a I was in a gospel quartet for four years. There you go. Do you have any superstitions? Yes, yes. I think all coaches are superstitious. I had a former boss that told me uh, superstitions are just comfort zones. Well, I, I do have superstitions. Um, I'm a creature of habit. like to uh, do the same thing at the same time uh, every game. 
uh, to the minute. Uh, you know, just just little ticky tack things that don't mean anything, but whenever they don't go right, they mean everything. Um, that might be a sign of weakness, fragile fragile mindset. I don't know that I am so superstitious, but yeah, it's uh, it, I don't let it control me, but it kind of guides me. That's my rationale anyway. Who wins in a game of horse, you or one of your t players? Oh, me. Much more creative. They're bland. They're blah. I mean, they're going like free throws and threes. Nah, that's no fun. You got to go behind the backboard, lay it down. Yeah, you got to get them on creativity. Absolutely. So if you could have dinner with any three people, who would it be and why? Living or dead? Living or dead, doesn't matter. Really? So I could go back in history. Mm -hmm. uh, any three people. Um, Jesus, that's the easy one, right? I mean, that's that's obviously want to invite the Lord. Um, two would be Abraham Lincoln, greatest president of all time. And then the third one, the wild card, I would say Larry Bird. Those would be those would be my three. That would be a great that would be a great foursome on the golf course, and then we could eat afterwards. At Martha's. Right. At Martha's in Moorhead. Absolutely. <laughs>